So I said, why don't we just put him the host of the show, right, Bilal? <laughs> So, what makes women crazy? For the sake of the time, I'm only going to mention one point. For the sake of your lifespan, I'm only going to mention one point. <laughs> dreams. They take dreams too seriously. They take too far. They think it's real. If a woman dreamt about something and you were the villain, you know you're gonna sleep outside today, don't you? <laughs> But that's good that it's actually only happening to women because if it happened to men, we might turn pretty violent, to be honest. Uh, when I was in school, I dreamt that my brother took a huge caca in my school backpack. And... I let him know, you know what I'm saying? I, uh, I can't allow that to happen. I woke up, I, I thought it was real, and I was really pissed. Went outside, and my brother was sitting in peace watching TV. I took his laptop and I combined it with his head. <laughs> now, I know that's wrong, but what pissed me off that there was a base right next to the laptop. I still picked the laptop. I was like, let's waste some money! <laughs> this is bad. Anyways, my brother turned to me, stood up, and he wasn't even mad. He was confused. He was shocked. And he was ready to kill. You know what I'm saying? He turned to me and with a, like, a deadly voice, he says, Before I murder you, why? <laughs> uh, I, I don't blame him, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, when he just said that, I realized that that was only a dream. You know how messed up that is? I looked at him and I was like, I, 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 I thought you were my dad. <laughs> I was like, oh, what? Anyways, I ran for my life. And uh, when I usually run for my brother, I go to my dad's room. And fortunately, he was sleeping. You know what I'm saying? Because if I went into my dad's room suddenly, he gonna wake up. If he woke up, he wouldn't know white from black, evil from good. He gonna kill everyone. <laughs> So basically, my, my dad is a lieutenant. He never left his life like as a lieutenant, but he sure hits like one. <laughs> so basically, I ran into there, and there when I, when I felt like a suicide bomber, I told him, listen, I'm gonna go in there, I'm gonna go down, and I'm gonna take you with me. <laughs> All right? <laughs> there is that. Then he was stuck, like, dude, don't do this, let's talk, let's... <laughs> I felt like a hostage negotiation situation, okay? It was exciting. Uh, anyways, my brother is a good talker. He, uh, he talked me away from it, and he talked me also away from my dad's room. The, the ending to the story is very predictable and very violent. I think I lost my virginity that night. <laughs> I'm not sure. For the sake of al-akhlaq al I will not continue. <laughs> Anyways, but, but, come on, man. <laughs> um, but I like my brother, he's a good guy. He taught me how to drive, you know what I'm saying? And I, in the day I wanted to get my license, I wanted to test, and I failed despite doing everything right. No one told me I can't park on the pavement. <laughs> This is like our thing, man. We still fail before it. Uh, but uh, what I hate sometimes about driving is uh, when you're asleep, when you're tired, and you have to drive. That's the worst. I mean, have you ever been so messed up that when you're driving, a radar flashes you, and you move away to give that space? <laughs> have you ever been that messed up? I was messed up once too. My, my friend was like, dude, you sure you can drive? I was inside the car. And he was making sure, dude, are you sure you can drive? Dude, you, you scared me, are you sure? I was like, yeah, man, why? Apparently I was in the back seat looking for the paddles. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's terrifying. Uh, I hate it also when, my, uh, 
when I, in the past, when I was driving in the past, because I used to be fat, I used to be really huge, and every speed hump I hit has to remind me on how big my jumps are. I mean, when I was fat, this, this was okay. But these, this will make you like feel fat. This will make you feel like a woman. That's why maybe I was dreaming shit, I don't know. But, uh, and you, you know how hard it is to impress a woman? I mean, when I was fat, what do you want? How do I impress a woman? I go to her, I was like, mine are bigger than yours. <laughs> I can't do that. That's messed up. <laughs> then I started going to the gym, I practiced. I became thin, but I hate the gym. I go there, I see disgusting stuff. I see, like, the bike that goes nowhere, for God's sake. <laughs> What's that? And I saw a guy riding that bike while he's eating an ice cream. I mean, this, this kind of retardness, I'm not prepared to. I mean, is he aware of the loop that he's into? I mean, that bike goes nowhere, but does he know what else is going nowhere? His tits. <laughs> No, but come on guys, fat jokes can finish friendships, you know that. But fat people will finish your friendships. <laughs> Thank you very much. I don't mind. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Abdurrahman. Uh, yeah, this is just how we talk.